Hi, you guys. Sorry. Just did a little final adjustment when I got on live. Um, so good morning. And what I want to talk to you about today is a little hack that I developed really super early on when I was creating my business and it helped my mindset. Now there's something we all need to know about our brains and that is that our brain wants to hold on to negatives and release positives. And this is a survival instinct. It goes back to our caveman days when we needed to remember the things that hurt us so that we didn't repeat them. And the things that were just wonderful and beautiful, just they were meant to be enjoyed in the moment. And then our brains released them because there was no point storing them because there was no survival aspect to it. Um, but we don't need that brain anymore and I'm sure you've all noticed that you can have 10 people come up to you and say the most wonderful kindest things and then you have number 11 come up and say something negative and your mind spins on that. So instead of your mind holding on to those negative things, inhaling them, appreciating them, making them a part of your DNA, it just goes, okay, I don't need that. And then there you find yourself focusing on the negative things that people say. But that doesn't help your emotions stay stable at this point, and it doesn't help you stay motivated if you're always thinking backwards instead of thinking forward. So if you're always thinking about the negative things that people say, and you're not focusing on the positive things, and you're missing opportunities to actually, oh then you're missing opportunities to build yourself up and keep yourself moving forward. So what I did to help that out is I created a folder and I call it, you know, motivation and inspiration. And whenever somebody says something nice to me, like, you know, and this was more important in the early stages, when something said something nice, I wrote it down, I put it in the folder. When I found my brain wanting to go backwards, thinking I wasn't good enough, I shouldn't be doing this, I'd go into the folder, I'd read those things that people said, and I'd use that to build myself back up. Now this is something that's actually really useful in relationships too, because we do tend to focus on the negative, forget the positive, and then we make our partners suffer because of that, because we're not appreciating what it is that we do, What we're not appreciating what they do, we're nitpicking what they don't. So here's kind of like a roundabout thing about what I just explained about holding on to those positives, writing them down so you can go back to them. Love is all about self-love. And if you're not going to incorporate self-love into who you are, it's hard for you to give and receive love. So this folder has many purposes. It keeps you motivated with work, but it reminds you how loved you are and it reminds you of how much you should be loving yourself. And so you can go back to this over and over again and rebuild yourself up without having to go back to other people to rebuild yourself up. And so this is so super useful to help you create that inner love so that you're not vomiting negativity on other people because that's where your mind might start spinning. I hope you appreciated this. I want you to share this with somebody that you think could benefit from creating a tool that's going to help them have more self-love in their lives. Mm, I love you. I love you guys so much. Can't wait to talk to you again tomorrow morning. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and, and put them in the comment section. I'm watching this all day long, you guys. So if there's anything you want to say about this, go ahead and say it. I love you so much. I'll talk to you soon.